All right. Hey guys, welcome to Joe's Tech Tips, the first episode of Joe's Tech Tips. And depending on how this turns out, it may be the only episode of Joe's Tech Tips. What I have here is my HP Envy laptop. It's a 17M CG0 model. It came with 12 gig of memory, RAM, random access memory. <laughs> so with, with the requirements of CyberLink PowerDirector, you know, the Photoshop, all the, the software I run, it can bog this thing down. And it's not that it's a bad computer. I mean, it's, uh, I think it's a, gen, a 10, I, Core i7 10th generation. And they're only up to 12, so it's not like it's an outdated laptop. It just needs a little help. So, we're going to add some memory. We're going to upgrade the memory. And I'm going to go from the 12 gig that's in it to 32 gig. There are two chips in here. I have to take those two out, put these two in. What's interesting is, I remember back in the day, let me think, let me see, hang on. I have an old HP laptop here. And how easy these used to be to work on, you take one screw out, pull this panel off, there's your hard drive, your memory uh, chips that you have to, if you want to upgrade. I mean, it's all right here. Your battery is right there, pop it off, you know. That's how simple it used to be. But I think as the way of the car manufacturers, they don't want you working on your own stuff, they think you just go buy a new one. Throw this one away and go buy a new one. All right, so now we have today's stuff. You know, I started back with the 8086, the 8088, 286, um, so now we're all the way up to whatever. This is the back of my HP. No little doors to open up. No battery to take off. No screws to take. How do you get this off of here to replace your memory? That's what this video is for. This may be the way to do it. I'm going to attempt this. And this is only a $1,200 laptop, so if I screw it up, there will be a GoFundMe account. The first thing you have to do is, oh, there. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm going to get a flathead screwdriver because these little rubber feet here, you have to peel these off and carefully because you have to put them back on. The screws are underneath these rubber feet. So. Okay, let me take these screws out. This is going to be interesting. I've never taken this off of here. I've never taken... It's been years since I worked on a computer. When I had my computer shop, I never really even worked on laptops. Now, I've got two other little, teeny, tiny Phillips. Yeah, that's not going to work. You need a little, tiny Phillips head. Is that even Phillips? No, that's a star bit. Wow. Well, that's a good thing you got so many star bits. I know. Uh, let's see. What size it is. There we go. Alright. Dang, don't 
talking about a tiny little screw. Okay, all of the screws are out now, I believe. So now, I think you still have to kind of like pry this off. Nothing broke. So, set that aside. Now, <laughs> here is your battery. What a trip. This is where you would put a secondary hard drive. If you want to, it's a lot cleaner inside than I thought it would be. The memory is under here. So I need to get this off of here, and I believe it snaps in as well. Yeah, like that. Okay. There are the memory chips. That's an 8 and a 4. So, to remove the memory, pop these little little arms off and it comes up at an angle and there you go I suppose you could have zoomed in on this part well, it gets darker yeah okay it's cool the way it is so my new memory this is DDR4 uh, 3200 so what you have to be careful of there's a key, a slot, and it's off-centered. It's not dead in the center. This way you know which way to put it in. You put it in at an angle, just like I took the other one out. Once you got it in there, push it down. That's it. Now you see why you pay so much money to take one of these to the shop to have this done. Put this stick in. Push it down. Now I have 32 meg of memory. Gig. 32 gig of memory. Alright, so the memory's in. Let's put this cover back over, this heat shield back over. Oh, fuck. Did you see that spark? No. Yeah, oh, well, look yeah. at that. I told well, you to touch bare metal, man. I did. What bare metal? Ah. Uh, Why isn't that going down? Well, it wasn't super on there. No, no actually, it wasn't. Oh, poor kitty. GG. Well, that. you may have just witnessed me fry this. And that's going to suck. Because Alex bought me this, and I'm going to have to buy another one to replace it. Yeah, it had to stretch yeah. some. Yep. Alright. Alright, folks. Now comes the test. I will let you see it. And get the plug. I'm going to adjust the camera okay. a little bit. So this may be a fail. Okay. I 
a Friday. HP logo came on, yep. so that's a good sign. Yep, there's my sort HP of. logo. And it says, you idiot. What'd you do to me? It's probably going to take it a minute to... Uh... Might be better to turn his lights off on that screen. Updates are in the way. <laughs> of course! And what? Look at that. Let's see now. Okay. All right, let me get my mouse and try to go into the system. Let's see if it tells me I have 32 gig of RAM now. Can't see because of the reflection. System. RAM, installed RAM. 32 gigabyte. See that? <laughs> That's what I needed. Alright, so hope you enjoyed that. Hope you learned something from it. Don't be afraid to get into it, but be careful. You know, that was my first venture at it. And you see, I didn't do anything wrong. Probably shouldn't have got that little spark there. I could have grounded myself. Nick told me to touch bare metal, but the only thing bare metal is in my head, and I couldn't get to it. Um, but no effects. It is much faster now. And the problem I was having, and one of the reasons why I wanted to upgrade this memory, was when I was rendering a file, I wasn't able to do anything else. It took all of the memory of the machine to render a file. Now I should be able to render while I'm working on the thumbnail or something. We'll see. But I know just opening up the programs was way faster than it had gotten. But that's uh, Joe's Tech Tips. There may be another one now that that actually worked. I don't know. We'll, we'll work on something else. Maybe Nick will replace the upgrade the memory in his Apple. Uh, but just gotta buy it. I yeah. tried to get Alex. I tried to get Alex to buy me uh, memory. I know. He, Alex bought me that for my birthday at 32 gig. But I I gotta check. Gail's laptop may only have 8 gig in it, and if it does, I can add another 8 gig stick, maybe. Because that's a new laptop, so it should at least get take 3200 speed memory. Uh, DDR memory should be in. Well, maybe not. It's all solid I mean, it's, state shit. Now. Yeah, it might be there's maybe tiny just little chip right. Sets it's that are soldered solid on. Down. Yeah, it may not even be upgradable. Yeah, because that was only four or five hundred dollars. Three fifty seven. <laughs> was it? Yeah. Is that what I said? I got the receipt there. Oh, okay, yeah. so I only paid 350 bucks. <laughs> right. For it. So it's probably just <laughs> the, the bare bones, it's, but it works it, for It's mom. basically a tablet that opens up. Yeah, but it works for uh, mom to do Oh, yeah, all she stuff. does is, I don't know what she does on it. She needed one with a DVD drive, and so that's what it is. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this. Hope you had some fun. I'm going to delete, you know, edit a lot of this out. Um, if you have any questions, call the Geek Squad at uh, no, no, I, <laughs> Best Buy. They oof. still have a Geek Squad? Yeah, but... Do they? Oof. I know, they were idiots. It's like the genius bar at Apple. They don't... You're not required to know anything as far as I'm concerned. But I never did that. I did it. It was fun. I'm glad I got it over with and, and didn't have to take it to somebody to do it. You shouldn't have to take it to somebody to do it. Just don't be too afraid of it. Be careful, but don't be afraid. You can fix your own stuff if you need to. But this is Joe and Nick with the first episode of Joe's Tech Tips. <laughs> Just quick question. 
When do you think the last time you even took the case off a computer, a personal computer here at the house? Um, Writing? I don't, you know, I was going to say, I haven't done it since we lived here. Or uh, next door. Or probably. Do you think you did it in San Antonio? You know what? I think I did next door because I put a different hard drive in one. And it was a desktop, not a laptop. Yeah. But that was the last time I think I even worked on I used to have a computer shop, a computer repair, and, and sold computers. And when we lived in Cincinnati, I did it part-time. And I got my start because the company I worked for, they had, what, probably 35 PCs of various configurations. And uh, the owner decided he wanted a uh, network. Because we ran everything off of a mini mainframe, but decided it was time to get a PC-based network. Novell networking, if you remember that. And I made a deal with him. If he would give me his credit card, I would buy all of the parts. And I would build the servers, and I would build the workstations, those PCs, and install everything. If he would give me everything that was in the company, all the computers that he had. Because I'm the one who had been working on the things and trying to keep them running, as we, you know. That's how we went from 8086s to 88s, 286s, 386s, 486 you know, Pentium 60s, before we even, you know, put a network together. But he let me do that. And then I opened up that shop where I would repair PCs, and I fixed all those PCs and sold them. And that's about the time that uh, Dell... And Gateway decided to give away computers. And it got to where they were commodity items then. It was easier just when your computer got old or so, throw it away, buy a new one. Because they were so cheap then. I didn't have much business after that. But uh, anyway, that was, was a cute little story. I don't story. think even XP was out, was it? Oh, no, no. It was, it was Windows was 98. 98. Was, that was the latest. Yeah, when uh, you had your store. So that's how long yeah. ago that was. Yeah. Now, I'm one of those guys, me and Tim Mayhew, if you remember, Windows 95 went on sale at midnight at Micro Center. And my friend Tim and I were in line at Micro Center at midnight waiting for it to open so we could get our copies of Windows 95. Not that we were geeky or anything back then, but... uh we had a lot of fun learning how this stuff worked. And now, I don't know how any of this stuff works anymore. You know, if it wasn't for plug and play. Um, remember the first sound card I got? The first CD drive? We bought those Pentium 60s for work. And they had CD drives and sound cards. And Tom was like, I, you get them things out of there. I don't want these people playing games on them. So right. I got a sound card, a CD draw, drive, and Tim got a sound card, a CD drive. But yeah, we put those those things in our computers at home. And back then, you had to know you had to put cards in, and no interrupts, and dip switches all had to be set on different things. It was tough to figure out in the day, but now they don't even have them anymore. Anyway, been out of the game too long, old man. Yeah, I know, but I can still. Change a piece of memory out if I need to. Uh, again, hope you all appreciate this. Hope you had fun watching it. Hope you learned something. This is Joe. I know I did. I'm out.